Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of decimals and percents, specifically how we can convert numbers from a decimal to a percent or vice versa. And we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So let's say we start with a typical decimal. So we'll start with 0 0.86 or 86 hundredths. What you need to keep in mind is that 100% it means everything. That is equal to 1. And so our 0 0.86 is less than 1, because that's our 1's place right there. So our percent is going to be less than 100%. Now, changing from a decimal to percent is fairly easy. All you need to do is take your decimal point and you move it two spots to the right. 1, 2. And now your decimal is right there. We have a 0 at the beginning. We don't need that anymore. So 86 hundredths is the same as 80. 6%. 0 0.86 is the same as 86%, which makes sense because 86% is less than 100%. Now, can you get a decimal to turn into a percentage that's greater than 100? Yes, you can, as long as that decimal itself starts greater than 1. So let's say you had 2.023. And 23 thousandths. How would you change that from that decimal to a percent? Well, you do the exact same thing. You start with your decimal, and you move it once, and you move it twice. And so now your decimal is right here. And so we're going to end up with 202.3 percent, or 202 and 3 tenths percent. So you just move the decimal twice to the right. If you have some numbers after it, that's fine. You just keep it there. That's 202.3%. So that's greater than 100% because it started as a 2, which is greater than 1. Now, the only other area where you might have a little bit of difficulty would be something like this. 3. How can you change 3 into a percent? Because there is no decimal. Well, when you come up with a problem that has no decimal, you would always place a decimal after the 1's place. So in this case, the 3 is in the 1's place because it's just 3 1's. But you can put the decimal right there. And then you move it twice to the right again. Now you have two blanks, and so the only digit we can put there that is the same as a blank is a zero. So three is equal to 300%, which makes sense because one is 100%. Three is three times that, so three times 100% is going to be 300%. Now let's look at going from a percent back to a decimal. So if you have a percent like 32.5 percent or 32 and 5 tenths percent how can we change that back into a decimal well when we started with our decimal and moved to a percent we moved our decimal two times to the right so you probably guess if we want to go from a percent which we have here back to a decimal we're going to do the opposite we're going to move it two times but this time we're going to go to the left and so in this case it's pretty simple because we have a decimal there we're going to move it once We'll move it twice, drop the percentage sign, and so put that zero in the ones place just to keep it uh, the decimal kind of clear. So 32.5% is the same as 0 0.325 or 325 thousandths. You might come up with a decimal or a percent kind of like this, 79%. That's something you might see in school. How can we turn that into a decimal? Well, there is no decimal. Uh, it included in the percent, so we need to supply it, and we can always put a decimal after the ones place. And so we're going to put that in the after the nine, move it twice to the left, do the same thing. Let's drop our percentage sign. Our decimal is going to end up there. So 79% is going to be the same as 0 0.79. You always want to put a zero in the ones place if you don't have anything in the ones place. And then finally, the last one that might get you a little bit it would be something small. 3%. You can put your decimal here after the ones place. You're going to move it once, you're going to move it twice. But now we have a blank spot here. So you need to make sure you put a zero in the tenths place there and a zero in the hundredths place. So you're going to end up with 3% equaling 0 0.03 or 3 hundredths. Make sure you include the zero in the tenths place. Because 3% does not equal 3 tenths, it equals 3 hundredths. 